Hey guys, welcome to today's video, and we're going to continue What If Raditz came to Earth early. So where we last left off, Goku was fighting Freezer. and Freezer had just transformed into his third form. Goku continues to fight with him, just feeling how much stronger Freezer has just become. His power boost for Goku, his potential unlocking, it made him incredibly strong, but Freezer is beginning to overpower him very quickly. This is when Raditz joins the fight. The two Saiyans coordinated together. The power level of. Well, combined, it's over 2 million, their power level. But it's not stronger than Freezer. However, the two working together, the coordinated moves. They come up with their own techniques that they've been working on while training in the past. And it's beginning to have a little impact on Freezer. They're holding their own together. Freezer is getting more and more frustrated. The two Saiyans, the two brothers working together, are beginning to overpower the tyrant. So then he just blasts the two of them together, a powerful blast. Just enough to send them back to the ground. They're not hurt. Yes, it did cause some damage, but they're still able to fight back. Freezer uses this split second to transform into his final form. So now things are serious. He now begins to beat down the Saiyan brothers. Kami now joins the fight. And it's intensifying. Freezer is able to more than match the power of the three. Even though they are extremely powerful, Freezer is still overpowering them. Now Bardock joins the fight. The son of Raditz has given them a vital edge. A combined power level of a four nearly matches Freezer at 1% in his final form. Yet, it's still not enough. Freezer is still matching them blow for blow, even with four incredibly strong fighters. Tien Yamcha. Krillin, Chaozu, they're all just standing back. They can do nothing. They know that their power, though it has improved significantly, they're incredibly strong. They can do nothing but sit back and watch. In this scenario, Goku doesn't know the Spirit Bomb. He doesn't know the Kaioken. So this is the limit of his power at the moment. Yes, all of them are increasingly getting stronger with their potential unlocking sinking into their bodies. But it's still not enough. This is when Freezer smashes Raditz into the ground, firing a death beam at him. And Kami hits the blast out of the way, severing his arm. Kami is down. Raditz manages to stagger to his feet and check on Kami. He takes him over to Yamcha and the others. And then he goes back to continue the fight. Kami regenerates his arm. He's in a lot of pain. That shot did more than just sever his arm. It weakened him significantly. This is when Nail goes up to him. And the two fuse. Kami's power level skyrocketing. So the boost that Kami now gets it would bring him just a bit higher than third form freezer power level. He now goes back and joins the fight with this new boost. He's managing to more than overpower freezer with the others. All four of them working together now are pushing the tyrant back, forcing him to unleash more and more of his power. They're all getting concerned now. Freezer with this much power he, Freezer just smirks and laughs at them and says, Heh, well, you're all quite impressive, aren't you? Three monkeys in a dirty Namekian. Heh, you have proved to me how strong you are, so I'll do you a little kindness. Something that I very rarely have to do. I'll show you 10% of my power. Freezer powers up and just a shock waves of his initial power up, it destroys an island around them. All four of them are just, they're just staying back in fear. 
they don't know what to do. And as they gain their composure, they realise Freeze is not in front of them anymore. He quickly appears behind Raditz and puts an arm through his chest. Raditz falls to the ground, blood pouring from his body. He's not quite dead yet. Freezer laughs menacingly. But there's one thing that we should consider here. When Goku originally got to Namek, he had a couple of spare sensu beans. So we're going to say that they still had a couple left. While Freezer is laughing, Bardock, he has a similar reaction to what Gohan would have. He has a massive rage boost, charges Freezer, beating down the tyrant. So Bardock here is a lot stronger than what Gohan was in canon. And we'll say that he has the exact same reaction, we'll say he has the same potential. He starts to beat down Freezer, not giving him a chance to fight back. Because Bardock is more confident than Gohan, he's more a fighter, this rage boost lasts a lot longer. While this is happening, Goku quickly flies down to his brother and gives him a sensu bean. He manages to recover, and the power boost that he has just gotten from this, the Zenkai that he gets, is immense. It puts him around the same strength of Kami now. But, again, that is not enough. And now Freezer has just whacked Bardock to the ground, firing a death beam. Goku and Raditz fire a Kamehameha wave to counteract Freezer's blast. A huge explosion happens, and through the dust, Kami comes straight through, straight at Freezer. Blasting him right in the face. Through this second of Freezer being caught off guard, Goku appears behind him and fires a Kamehameha wave at his back, sending him straight to the ground. Now Raditz stands up and fires a double Sunday, blasting all around Freezer. The smoke clears, and Freezer is stood there with minimal damage. He's just got a few scratches. That's it. Freezer charges right towards Goku, beating him down. Every time the others come to try and help him come to his aid, Freezer just smacks him away with his tail. They're all getting stronger and stronger, but nothing can touch the tyrant. This is when Carmage flies over to where Guru is. Raditz is confused as to why he's leaving, but he goes over and, and continues to try and help his brother. Raditz, Bardock and Goku are fighting Freezer together to, well, nothing. They're not doing anything at all. Vegeta's just sat there watching because, let's face it, he's the weakest fighter right now. There's nothing he can do and the humans, the earthlings, they just stood back. Now. Kami has gotten to Guru and he says Lord Guru please you know what I'm going to ask Guru nods and says of course my son Nail is within you he knows that this is right and Guru passes on the kingship of the Dragon Ball so now Kame, his life is linked to both sets of Dragon Balls, Namek and Earth. This is when he puts his hand on Guru and they fuse. Guru, the oldest, most powerful and wisest Namekian, fused within Kame, who already had a mega boost from Nail. Now his power is immense. He is a super Namekian. His power level, well, I'm going to leave that as a surprise for now. He has to work his way back to the battlefield. Now, the fight continues and Freezer has got hold of Raditz and blasts him into nothing. Raditz 
is dead. This is when the ground starts to shake, lightning strikes, and a Super Saiyan is born. Now, I'm going to leave it as a surprise for now, what's happening. Who will fight Freezer next? Will it be the Super Saiyan? Of Super Namekian. As always guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please remember to like, comment and subscribe. And I will see you all in the next video.